I'm Martin Beer, I'm Chair of the Ethics, Inclusion and Equalities Committee. We had a very rich uh, and informative discussion um, around our agenda items in the Ethics, Inclusion and Equalities Committee. Delighted to welcome new members to our committee who've joined Council this year and we've got really interesting and varied representation from across the sector, um, including voices from the PRU um, sector and virtual schools um, heads sector as well, which is really helpful and added to our debate. We had a variety of things that we talked through, alighting on two position statements that looked at our concerns around the um, mission creep that's coming into the role of designated safeguarding leads with in, um, increased proposals for delegated responsibility for school leaders in that respect. Uh, and our concerns around that will be framed as a position statement. Uh, and also our, our respect for the expertise and experience that comes from social care and health in support of the work we're doing in schools around safeguarding. Um, we um, examined the, the upcoming guidance that's going to be coming around relationships, sexual health, education, and we'll, we'll be putting a position statement out about that in terms of uh, what we need in schools and the, the need for us to be able to be responsive as school leaders, understanding the context that our students are in so that we can best respond to the needs that they have. We also framed a work plan for the year ahead um, and we'll be working on ideas around inclusion, um, how that should fit into proposals for new school dashboards in the accountability framework and, and that's going to be a helpful thing for us to work on as well as continuing to, to lobby for um, clarity around SEND funding and the, the funding and the capacity that's needed to, to meet the needs that we have within our schools. So a really fruitful meeting and, and one that we, we will continue through the year in terms of the ongoing work plan.